TNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this Tiger Financial News Network, 10 a.m. Eastern Time market update. Dow's down 281 on this Friday, the last day of the week, February the 4th. We're looking at minus 280 at 33,514. Actually, we're lower this morning, went all the way down to 33,319, 200 points off the low. This is important. I want you to see selling get out of the way early this morning. And then the real day can start. And that's going to make it important because the resistance now is at 33,783, the nine period exponential moving average in the daily chart. It's going to be very important to see if it's, is it able to get back. Well, certainly if you're looking at the hundred, if you're looking at the very short term, you'll see that in the, you know, if I can just get it, there it is. You've made a cup formation. Very nice here in the one minute chart coming all the way back from the terrible activity from 930 from the opening. And now we've just popped above it. This is really important. I want to see some stabilization today. Whether or not it holds through to the end of the day, the last hour is going to be a question because anything can happen over the weekend. I'm not sure who wants to be holding new stocks that you've just got through the weekend. So we'll see. The S&P at this particular point, the S&P also dropped sharply. Now it's down only thirty-seven dollars at forty-three twenty-six. It ran all the way down to uh, I think it was three hundred. Yeah, just about three hundred. So this is a night forty-three hundred. That is. Uh, now what we're looking at is. Uh, this weekly chart we're going to talk about in my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour, as well as the monthly chart in the S&P. We're looking at the QQQ, the NDX 100, trading now uh, down a little bit better than it was, down 2.70 at 339.50. Just struggled yesterday, did get to a leg B. Now it's going to probably be a peak B in this arch formation. IWM, the Russell 2000. Has been holding a lot better, but today it pulled back quite sharp. It's down 2.16 and 199.69. Uh, oh, just got it. Well, the day's young, but it did get a, a signal where the nine went under the 14 period so far today. That could change by the end of the day. Now, gold, this is very important because gold is still up quite sharp. It's up 15. Now we don't think 15 is such a big deal anymore. But this is 15 getting close to that 1976 high of about uh, a week and a half ago. This is going to be very important where, where it closes. And crude oil just is relentless. It had a little bit of a red candle yesterday. Now it's back up 112.60. And this is also really important. The TLT had a big spike to the upside of 256 and 150.50 yields coming down momentarily. 